What's up, Schlimes and Schlimesuses? Let's get straight to it. Considering that we haven't played any matches since the last episode, I think we're just going to go straight into it. Um, here's the lineup for the next match um, versus Dijon. We have Ruffier, Pineda, O'Connell, Makuti, Nick. And then we have Mvian, Tibling, and Pussy Dragon in the midfield with Buwanga, Budabus, and Juric up top. A very strong lineup. I think that we can do bits against Dijon. If we win this match, we also go back up into the third place into the Champions League spot that we were... Uh, occupying at one point so I think that we de this is a must win match for us but however we are away so it may be difficult. Pussy Dragon has it here he fu um, but his pass is poor and it goes to the Dijon center back um, now he's found Balde out wide but O'Connell gets to it and it's a little bit a little ball of a game of ping pong right now but we're the ones who won we, we got the we got the serve and now Tibbling hits in Tibbling's shot goes into the hands of Gomez. Now we have a throw in here Makuti with a pretty long throw into Juric. Juric could put a ball in he finds Budabu's Juric gets the ball back in the box, finds Nick to Mvia. We know what he can do from that range. He probably was a goal if it wasn't blocked, but now Tavares on the counterattack, and Tavares could finish here, but Ruffier makes a great save, and we continue to um, be equalized in this game. Now Nick, Nick does another long throw, finds Juric, Juric into Buwanga, but Buwanga is offsides. I don't understand why he, he seems to always be offsides from this position. I think that, I mean, we have a great play going here. Juric can make, win this flick every time, but it seems like our players always run offsides. Now Nick. Nick throws it in towards Juric. Juric heads in. It's just over the goal. The long throw executed to perfection yet again, but Juric just can't finish. Punji plays it in. Looking for Tavares, but Makuti wins the race. Now Pussy Dragon finds him via in the middle. He could hit a long pass. He hits a poor pass instead, but Pineda still gets to it first, so we're not caught out on the counter. Now Buwanga doesn't have too much space, but he finds Tibbling in the middle who has acres. Now Tibbling could take a shot. Instead, he finds Budabus, and that's a brilliant pass from Tibbling, a great finish from Budabus, and we're up 1-0 in this very important match. Now, um, going into the Shakhtar match, I do want to be in. Um, I do want to have good momentum. So obviously, this is an important game. Um, however, um, this is also an important game because of the, you know league placement. Of course, if we can get a three point gap on, um, I believe it was who was it that's ahead of us? It's uh, Lille. If we can get a three point gap on Lille, like we're currently holding, it would be a brilliant result. And right now, Monaco's also losing, which would put them five points behind us and just make the uh, road to the Champions League next year much more comfortable. We've made three substitutions here. We've put Wagner at left wing, we've put Yusuf on the right wing, and then we put Dioni up top and took it, and we took out Juric, Pussy Dragon, and Buwanga. Let's see if we can uh, finish out the match like that in in style. We have a throw in here. Um, Pineda, we, uh, he looks like he's going to launch a long one. Instead, he goes to Envia. Envia into Budaboos. Could he get his second of the game? And he can. That's a brilliant finish. Seventh of the season, second of the game. We're up 2-0. That's a... A very healthy lead in this match and Dijon, we're at Dijon's place but we have won and we've just had a very comfortable victory here as well so um Envia looks and well I shouldn't say victory you know ne you never know what can happen but he just hits it too hard and Gomez can't react on time and he dives but he dives almost even away from the ball but it's just the e he's just hit it too hard and there's nothing he can really do about it to save it now we have another a chance to score again here now Nick Finds Tibbling in a little bit of space on the wing, but Tibbling plays a great ball into Wagner. Wagner looks for Pineda. Pineda, a ball in. Finds Budaboos. Budaboos for the hat trick, and he does it. Budaboos for the hat trick. What a, a game he's having here. The former B Batiste player. Um, that's a great ball from Wagner here. Look at this ball here after Tibbling plays an egg, or it was from Pineda. Tibbling played an excellent ball into Wagner, and then that's a great ball from um, from Pineda, and Budaboos just takes his, he takes his time finishes it brilliantly and the away fans are just absolutely loving it watching us play just brilliant football right in front of their eyes they have a chance here to get an, a consolation goal it goes for top uh tavares but Envia clears it out and now it looks like um it looks like wagner's trying or dioni my apologies dioni's trying to um press and he's doing a pretty decent job at it um but now uh Kum Kumsen. Kumsen has space on the wing, but it's right into the throat of Raffier. And the match ends right there, 3-0. Three from Etienne, three from Budaboos. A brilliant performance from the boys overall. I'm going to say I'm I'm, that was a very good performance, but don't let it get to your heads. That's a great win for us. Um, and uh, Budaboos was absolutely brilliant. Now, we have Shakhtar in a few days, and so um, that's what the match that you guys are going to see next. Um, Obviously, we're in Ukraine for the first match, so it's going to be pretty difficult. Um, and also, we know Shakhtar has quality, so um, this will be a pretty difficult game. But I think that we have the what we I think we have the quality we need in order to uh, win here. So, um, with that being said, let's get to the lineup. Now, unfortunately, we've had to go with a bit of a makeshift lineup, especially in the defensive areas here. Um, we have to play with Makuti and Fafana because both of our center backs were suspended. Both um, O'Connell and Vucha were both suspended. 
And so um, Palencia is also coming in on the right as um, Nick was unable to play as well as he's uh, obviously unregistered for this competition um, due to an error for myself. And then Tibbling and Via and uh, Pussy Dragon in the middle with Buwanga, Buda Boots, and Jurich up top. I think that this is definitely still a strong enough lineup to do bits against Shakhtar, but hopefully it is. Um, hopefully I'm not wrong. And let's just get into the match. Now Cipriano has the ball here in the midfield. Finds Shepelev. Shepelev into Dodo. Now Dodo has space. Dodo hits it. And Dodo scores on the near post. Rufio really should be doing better there. And now Shakhtar at home, of course, it looks like we have no fans that have come made the trip to Ukraine, which is understandable, honestly. I don't know that I would make the trip to Ukraine for a football match either. Um, looks the away stand is just completely empty. But um, Ruffier, um does just do very poorly there. I mean, he really should be doing better in that position. Honestly, Shakhtar doesn't have that many fans there either. Maybe they're sanctioned for some reason. I don't know. Um, it looks like they're, there's a lot of social distancing going on here, though. Um, as uh, Pineda looks around and the ball's just into the uh, into Shepelev instead Cipriano Cipriano does brilliantly there finds Marias and now Pussy Dragon if he can find a player on our team that'd be great and we, if we could uh, have a counter here Fafana looks for a player on our team he can't find them but Buwanga takes the ball from them and can we start a counter attack here but no that's a very poor ball from Buwanga and now um Shakhtar who probably are a better team than us technically um well that's a great ball into Kovalenko and Kovalenko makes it 2-0 and now this is not looking good for this is not looking good for us here it looks like we could be going out of the Europa League at this point um, after we've taken a 2-0 deficit in the first 25 minutes of the match however Valencia uh, wants to see if he can change the, our fortunes finds Juric but Juric's flick can't um, no one can get onto the end of it and now Makuti Makuti finds Mvia Mvia has space to run uses it now Tibbling back into him if they could find Tibbling again, that'd be great, but instead he finds Pussy Dragon on the wing. Pussy Dragon could put a ball in, but instead he's tack tackled by Ismaili yet again. And now a ball, the ball in uh, looking for Junior Marias has been tackled by Makuti. Makuti looks back to Ruffier, who obviously had that mistake earlier in the match. Makuti can... can I feel a little bit nervous about us pa just passing it around in these areas, especially with our defenders that aren't, you know aren't the regulars but but now Pineda could if he could find a ball for that'd be great it looks like he may just take a shot no he instead he finds Buwanga whose shot is just wide but there's right afterwards there's a throw in finds Junior Marias Marias puts the ball in but it's just straight into the path of Fafana who finds Juric then he just slams it up and gives the ball right back to them for some odd reason um Stepanenko looks for his Miley and finds him and we're pressing we're pressing pretty well here but they are just playing around it um now Tyson has a ton of space to run. It's closed up pretty quickly though, and now Shepelov finds his Miley, who again has space to put in across. Marias is header, and it's just wide. And Shakhtar has been absolutely dominant in this match. They've been the ones creating the chances. They've been the ones setting the tone. They've, they have the impetus here, and I don't really know exactly what we're supposed to do, what we can do to change that so far. But Budabus finds him via, and there, it looked like um. Bu um I think it's Buwanga up there had had space, but they didn't find him. Instead, Timbling looks for Jurich, but the through balls just hit a little bit too hard. And now it looks like um, they could counter again the Ukrainian outfit. Um, Marcos Alonso, I think it was, um, finds um, or Marcos Antonio finds this Miley, who looks for Cipriano, and Cipriano makes it three 0 And this is just an absolute disaster. This is an absolute disaster. Um, I hate the Europa League. I, I hate it. I hate the Europa League.